Hello everybody, it's Kent Carlson from Sewer Pros. And one of the big questions I get on my YouTube channel is the differences between the old type of bell and spigot pipe and the new type of bell and spigot pipe on the vitrified clay pipe. So what I want to do is talk a little about, about the, the age and also too about the new type of gaskets that are out now. So this is a WP, uh, piece of WS Dickey pipe. It was made over 100 years ago. And as you can see inside of here, the bell, and if we just go a little bit about the terminology on the vitrified clay pipe, you got three major components. You got the spigot end, you got the body, and you got the bell. And of course, the bell goes into the spigot for the seal. Now, on the old Dickey pipe here, you can see that there wasn't a poured gasket inside of the bell. So we used to call this a mortar joint or a tar joint. So what would happen is, the sometimes you'd have a, a clean bell, and a lot of times you would get a, a scrap surface in here that would help the mortar or the tar when it's poured inside of the, uh, inside of the bell to adhere to the spigot. So back in the day, they would just take a straight piece of clay pipe, insert it into the the spigot and then pack or pour the gap that was remaining with the mortar which is similar to the type of mortar that you would use to put a, a brick wall together and it would it would harden up and then you would have your seal. The problem sometimes was is because you would have a, a hardened joint with either the, the grout, the mortar or the tar is that the clay pipe itself would become rigid and there would be very little movement. So the new type of gasket seals came out after the Clean Water Act in 1972. The uh, Clean Water Act actually changed the technology of how we manufacture clay vitrified pipe. Now as you can see right here, there's a, a difference in the joint. Now the, the joint is actually poured in place as you can see right here. This is uh, urethane, kind of similar to the same type of urethane as on skateboard wheels. So you have a straight pour, which is a, a common uh, outside diameter is kept. And you can see it inside of this sample right here. And then on the spigot side, you have the ID that is poured that matches the OD, but it is a little bit smaller. So when it's slid together, there's a compression fitting, but the most thing to appreciate is this bead right here. It's a, it's a triangular bead and when that bead bites into the OD of the spigot, it creates a very tight waterproof, root-proof seal and it's very water, it has a great water integrity to it. One thing though to consider also is because it's urethane, it has flexibility. So when the two pipes are homed together, you can see where you have a little bit of flexibility in the pipe now instead of the old rigid clay poured. And it, uh, by American Society of Testing Materials, you have a lot of variance on it and it will still keep its, its water integrity. Now, the interesting thing is this, is that because the clay is so hard, and coupled with the, with the urethane joint, you get a incredible type of wastewater conveyance. You have the toughness of, of vitrified clay pipe, which is very hard, as well as the malleability and the flexibility of the urethane. The two together create a very, very good uh, water conveyance on the sewer side. So the next time you, you know, take a look at, at clay pipe, you have uh, this the bell and spigot type with a new type of joint. So uh, I think on the next class we'll talk about the straight pipe, the non-bell and spigot, and some of the couplings that are sold to attach these two together. And thank you very much for all your support. And thank you very much for the the retired, the veterans, and the active service members of the United States Armed Forces. Thank you very much for your service and thank you for your support. It's Kent Carlson from Sewer Pros. Out.